Okay, so now we're going to do sketch notes on chapter one, section two, discovering cells. And so the first thing um, we need to talk about is the first sightings of cells. So this actually happened because in 1590, the microscope, um, microscope was actually invented. And so this allowed us to um, discover and learn about cells. So there's five people um, that we're going to discuss that um, were important in um, the discovering of cells. So we have Robert Hooke, Lewinoke, Schleiden, Swan, and Virchow. So Robert Hooke was one of the first people to observe cells in 1663, and he gave cells their name. So the next person um, is Lowen Hoke, and he was a Dutch businessman. He was the first to see tiny celled organisms, um, unicelled organisms called bacteria. Um, he studied pond water, and this was around the same time period as Robert Hooke. So Schleiden was um, or Matthias Matthias Schleiden concluded that all plants are made of cells. Schwann concluded that all animals are also made of cells, thus stating that all living things are made of cells. And Virchow um, proposed that all cells come from cells. So next thing um, is very important in life science to make sure you understand the cell theory. And this is a widely accepted explanation of the relationship between cells and all living things. And this theory states three things. So these things, these three things state that all living things are made of cells. Cells are the basic unit of living things, and that cells make cells. So that's the cell theory that you need to know. So lastly, we're going to talk about, um, in this section, about microscopes. So this is my best picture of a microscope, and a microscope is an instrument that makes small objects look larger. The lenses inside of a microscope provide magnification by the way they bend light. So convex lenses bend light and magnify the image. And the resolution is the ability to clearly dist distinguish individual parts. So it's turning blur into clear. Okay. So I also wanted to add at the very bottom a quick timeline of the um, discoveries over time. So in 1590, we had the first microscope. In 1660, we had Hooke's compound microscope. In 1683, we had Lewin Hoke's simple microscope. In 1838, we had um, Schleiden's uh, Plants Are Made of Cells discovery. I don't know if I said 1883. I meant to say 1838. And then in 1855, we had um, Fur Furco or Virchow is what I said before, but it's Furco's um, All Cells Come from Cells. Okay, so that's the timeline. And that's all for these notes.